Alexis and I'm here at the excavated spot where we're going to be putting in our root cellar slash fallout shelter. You can see behind you where the house is situated. It's back over there. This area here was going to have to be kind of filled in anyway uh, to, you know, to berm the house in to kind of keep that temperature stabilizing benefit of having your house bermed in. Uh, so, you know, I decided if, if I could just put a big open cavity here, that way I don't have to, you know, pay for extra clean fill to come in. And I'm going to have to buy a lot of it, so anywhere where I can avoid that is a good thing. Where we were able to get this thing in, it's a little further from the house than I really would have liked. Uh, and the reason I wanted it closer to the house was just simply because the, the mound of dirt that's going to come back from the house was probably going to kind of slope down this way anyway. So I wasn't necessarily going to have to fill in all this area with dirt, but, uh, you know, this is as close as we could get. There's a nub over here that is, as cl um, that is uh, you know, ledge. You know, we just couldn't get it any, any closer. But we found a good spot right here. What you see kind of scribed out here, and I used a long tape measure to do this, uh, is a rectangle that's 20 feet by about 10 feet. Uh, now, the root cellar itself is not going to be 20 feet by 10 feet, but I told the excavators that I needed that amount of space so that there was enough room for people to get in there with the concrete forms. You want to have you know, space around the sides of all of it so they can get in, put the forms in, you know, dismantle them later and everything. The actual dimensions of the thing are, well, I, I don't know, I think it will probably be close to the 20 feet long, but it's only going to be about 7 feet uh, wide on the inside dimension, and it's going to be 10-inch walls, so it's like 9 feet uh, uh, you know, as a, as a final size. And that's what it's going to look like. It'll be sitting right about inside that space there. Uh, as you can see beyond that, we've got some more cleared area. And I'm thinking about maybe taking advantage of that. And, you know, originally I was going to put kind of like an airlock thing, an airlock for the root cellar, a radiation lock if it's a fallout shelter. Uh, and I was going to kind of have like an S-curve kind of situation inside of this. But since we were able to clear out all that extra space, I'm thinking about maybe just having, instead of doing a dividing wall on the inside of this, I'm thinking about having, uh, you know, an extra set of walls jut out and kind of do the, um, uh, do the airlock slash radiation lock on the outside of the structure. And that'll give me that much more room on the inside. And, you know, I've got the space, I've got it all open. You know, it's just it's a little bit extra cement uh, or concrete, but, you know, in the scheme of things, you're mostly paying for the labor and everything. The, the, the tiny bit of extra concrete is really, really minimal when it comes to the cost of the whole thing. So I think that's what we're going to do. It's going to be this shape with a little airlock on the side. So I was really happy. I had no idea, you know, how much rock was going to be down there. You can see a big pile next to a river that couldn't be moved. There was a big pile here, but we were able to get it in. Really, the only cost to this whole thing, other than financially, is... Uh, you know, we're going to have to berm up a little bit higher on this side, and that's an awfully pretty rock face over there, and it's going to be a little bit of a shame to lose that. We're not going to lose the whole thing, but, you know, the dirt's going to pile up kind of high on that. You won't get to appreciate that beautiful flat face of that. So, you know, I'm a little bummed about that, but uh, there's another cool one back there anyway. That's it. Thanks for watching.